Don't be afraid of of feeling of hearing rejection. Don't be afraid of facing rejection. Don't be afraid when you feel lonely. Don't be afraid when you feel scared. Don't let that stop. The countries that I grew up in when I was very very young, they were always countries which were um you could say that uh, had a lot of people who were you know living below the poverty line as we do here and um so it's something i've always been exposed to because my mom has done charity work so i've always been exposed to that life we didn't grow up in a life of privilege we didn't grow up in a life of luxury um we had a very frugal and very 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 basic childhood so that's the life i come from whether um just because it wasn't uh just because my my gown was i didn't grow up here it doesn't mean that i've not seen it that's exactly where we mm. come from i mm. came from um starting out working mm. in the industry having absolutely no money mm. and needing to work to to be successful and if i was not going to make it successfully i would have had to you know look for another job where i could you know secure myself or wow. have security what i've done in my life in the last quite a few years in the industry um everything that's happened um this last year has been a very um you could say tumultuous year in a way for me a lot of changes in my life and i think whenever there are big changes in your life you do reflect a little bit on you know what you have done in the past what has brought you to this point whether it's good or bad and uh, i think what that does is it kind of it kind of starts to force you to look inside and kind of see what are the things that really matter to you and what do you really want at this point in your life because it's not it's not as if you're just starting out in in your career and you know everything is all you know stars in your eyes and big big fancy dreams you've you've um or if I'm speaking for myself I I had a lot of dreams and visions which I was fortunate enough and lucky enough to achieve but then what do you do You know, yeah, I'm 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 today I'm 33. I'm I'm you have your whole life ahead of you. What 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 do you now do? You have to create or um you have to envision new dreams and new goals for yourself. And I think that is probably the best way for me to describe to you um I think life has a way of 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 forcing things to happen and There, there there comes these phases where i think you just you can try and you can do everything you want but life is going to take its own course and and you just have to learn in those times to be patient because you can you can force and you can scream and you can yell and cry and you can hit your head against the wall but you kind of know deep in your heart that what's going to happen, happen is going to happen in its own time this is out of your control i started quite early in the film industry i started when i was just before 18 for me i think till date the thing that gives me the most the thing i can say that gives me the most happiness and the most pride and the greatest sense of fulfillment is the fact that by the grace of god i have been able to look after my family and i have been able to keep my family together but how young um, were you when you had to start doing that well i think it was never a spoken thing it was just something which i think it was it was the way things kind of kind of worked out um we are super tight together where i have six sisters and then there's me so there's seven girls i really feel that i'm extremely blessed and and, and extremely lucky to have an entire support system in my own family i mean just think about it like see just just count the girls on this on this row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we're so close just now my sister got married in um in colorado and we were all there together getting ready and you know wearing our dresses and really excited and i was just looking around the room and feeling that how blessed i am really to have a family like this and to have that kind of love and support from my sisters and i'm so proud of all of them i mean we have three doctors in our families not medical doctors but phd's mm-hmm. we're also unique we have one brother one boy in the family when i was you know in in my teenagers just stepping into the film industry finding my voice there were many actually you know incredible guys who were the ones to encourage me in the path i was on and to find my voice one of them being kabir khan who was the, my first director uh, i worked with in new york and then we went on to do the tiger series ekta tiger so i think probably um the roles the roles that i look to now need to have a little bit more personality i think before i was 
There is a phase in our life, I think, when we're in our early teens and we're still discovering ourselves and we're having fun and life is seeming really fun. Like, I remember being on the sets of, like, Singer's King and Welcome and just see everything in the world seemed so happy and fun. And that's, that's, that's what I was doing. I was having just a really, really good time and I was enjoying being part of this incredible world of cinema. Uh, today, when I hear a script, I kind of just hear it like this. And all I'm seeing to do is, all I'm hearing to do is to hear if there's something that I emotionally connect to in the story. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have done that before because I think my, my emotional intelligence was not fully developed. Now, when I hear something, I look for, some, for something I could connect to, like, like in Bharat. Uh, the film which I did last, I felt that I could, I could, I, I, I could connect to the emotions that she was feeling. You know, um, being alone, working in this kind of very male-dominated environment, the kind of way she had to kind of show, demonstrate, or enforce her authority at the workplace without being overbearing. So there were so many different things that I could just find that I could see myself being able to mentally connect with this character um, in Zero I felt that that was again a very interesting portrayal written uh, a very interestingly written character that had a lot of layers to it and I think that's where I'm finding my enjoyment in my work now is just making sure that I connect on an emotional level just be careful what you fear for because what you fear usually becomes your reality so for me I see it a little differently I, I, I like to be very clear into my he- in my head that what I want to achieve and not get burdened down by the typical stereotypes mm-hmm. and not get burdened by the thoughts that other people might be thinking or might be saying about me in any area of my life if I have a clear vision in my head what I want to achieve and in my work in the workspace in cinema right now then that's that's all I'm focusing on I'm not I'm not focusing on what other people are saying I feel that if we are looking over our shoulder and around us at what people are saying about us and taking that to heart and letting that weigh us down we are diverting our energy and our attention from where it should be which is creating and doing what we want to do and nobody can tell me what I want to do and what I can do. That's for me to decide. And if you believe in yourself and you believe in your dreams and you're clear about what it is that you want to achieve, then don't, I don't even let what's happening on the left and the right or let people's comments or the naysayers, I don't even let that come into my, into my, into my vision. I would just feel that people were so quick to make assumptions and judgments Um, without really giving you a chance of getting to know you don't be afraid of of feeling of hearing rejection don't be afraid of facing rejection don't be afraid when you feel lonely don't be afraid when you feel scared don't let that stop you you know I I think what, what was a great learning for me is that your courage is not the absence of fear it's the perseverance in the face of fear So don't let these things stop you. Don't let them stop you because you know what happens? When I used to do this a lot, I used to look at other successful people, even my colleagues and feel, oh, you know how they're doing this? Because they're not insecure. They don't, they're not scared of anything. Oh, they have absolute belief in themselves. And one day I realized that, hey, one second, that's probably not true. I think every one of us and definitely me We wake up in the morning, on some days it's a great day, and on some days you feel insecure, you feel you look terrible, you feel you're not doing good, you feel all the insecurities that uh, that we can feel. You have to face that and keep on going. Don't let that stop you, because most of the time it's not other people who stop us, it's ourselves and our own fears.